remember that thing when you when you face the qibla your heart is meant to face allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says when the believer stands up in the prayer allah subhanahu wa ta'ala places that servant in his presence facing allah subhanahu wa ta'ala this hadith is profound when you stand in prayer allah faces you and the worst thing you could do is that allah faces you with attention and your mind is somewhere else how bad does it feel you're talking to someone and his mind his mind is somewhere else you would take offense won't you and imagine if you're talking to someone and he turns around as if you're not talking how many people do this with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala one day there's a story mentioned by Imam al-Dhahbi in Siyar Alam al he says there was a group of people who were traveling at night, they came to this valley and it was, there were some woods. So they were getting themselves ready to sleep. As they were preparing themselves, a lion came about. So they jumped up into the trees, taking shelter. But there was one person who had already started his Qiyam al-Layl, who was praying Qiyam al-Layl. The lion came, the man did not move. He kept praying. So the lion was walking around, he turned around the guy and then he left. When these guys came down, Asma, they said, you're crazy. They said, the lion was here, you didn't move. He said, Wallahi, I felt shy that I'm standing before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and I fear something else. I was shy that I stand in front of Allah and I fear one of his creation. What level of focus on khushua? That is very high. Okay, now I'll give you the big secret. And that's what I will conclude with. <clears throat> this secret is mentioned in the Quran, but indirectly. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, قَدْ أَفْلَحَ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ الَّذِينَ هُمْ فِي صَلَاتِهِمْ خَاشِعُونَ The believers are successful. They are the ones who are, who have khushu' in their prayer. They have khushu' in their prayer. Now, some of the scholars of tafsir say, yes, this is the first description of the believers. So if you want to know, just for yourself, if this person has iman or not, look at his prayer. If he has khushu', that's a good sign. If he doesn't have khushu', Okay, that's not a good sign. The important point here is that the reason for their khushu' is iman. So why did Allah say these believers are successful? They are the ones who have khushu' and salah. The scholars of tafsir say that means, okay, iman is the essence and these are the signs of iman. They have khushu' and salah, the first one. So the more iman you have, the more khushu' you're gonna have. A second sign or indirect or some kind of insinuation in the Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَاسْتَعِينُوا بِالصَّبْرِ وَالصَّلَاةِ وَإِنَّهَا لَكَبِيرَةٌ إِلَّا عَلَى الْخَاشِعِينَ And seek help in patience and the prayer. Indeed, it is the prayer very difficult. It's a burdensome duty on people except for the khashi'een. Only the khashi'een find it easy to perform. Then Allah describes the khashi'een. They have faith and conviction that they will return to Allah and meet Allah, that's it. That's the secret of khushwa. If you truly believe that you will meet Allah on the day of judgment, and that's your ultimate destiny, that's the most important point in your future. The, the moment you meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on that day, the more belief you have about this, the more khushwa you will have in salah. 